is me, Cici, and today we're gonna do yu xiang rou si. The word yu xiang in Chinese it means fish flavor. So today let's take a look at how to make yu xiang rou si at home. So these are the ingredients that we will be using for today. If you follow my Facebook or YouTube, you might already know that in the past two years, what I have been doing is I was in a kitchen and learning to cook traditional Chinese food with my shifu, Chef Luo. So before we film every episode, I would test the recipe for many times. And I did the same for Yuxiang Rou Si too. So here you can see the revolution of what I have done. Number one, two, three, four, five, and many more. Um, but right now, I think we should get back to work. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna soak the woodia mushroom overnight. And then we'll just finely chop them, almost like julienne. And also, in fact, this dish should be cooked with pork. However, some of you asked me on Facebook to do this recipe with chicken. So today, I'm going to use chicken breast. So with this recipe, I want to share with you my conclusion on how to perfectly marinate julienne chicken. Alright, so we're first going to add a pinch of salt into the julienne chicken. And we're going to add 3 tablespoons of water and mix until the chicken fully absorbs the water. By doing this, the benefit is that the chicken will be more tender and it won't stick together while stir frying later. Then in a big bowl, we're going to do the usual stuff by adding half of an egg white a pinch of white pepper, a pinch of sugar, a tablespoon of cornstarch with one tablespoon of water, and also one tablespoon of oil. And we're just gonna mix. And then we're gonna add eight ounces of julienne chicken breast. And then we're gonna stir until everything is combined, and we're gonna marinate this for 10 to 30 minutes. Alright, so while the chicken is marinating, we have some more free time. What are we gonna do? Okay, let's make the sauce. So in this bowl, we're gonna add half cup of chicken stock. If you don't have chicken stock, you can also replace it with water. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, one tablespoon of black vinegar, a pinch of white pepper, a pinch of sugar, a dash of sesame oil, one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with one tablespoon of water, and one tablespoon of oil. Okay, so now we're gonna do other preparation work. In this beautiful pot, we're gonna boil water, and then we're gonna blanch two ounces of bamboo shoots and two ounces of woodier mushrooms that we already julienne and you know, like soaked it overnight for about one minute. We're doing this because we want to remove all the gamey taste of the mushroom and also the bamboo shoots. Alright, so now we're just gonna take it out and put it aside. Just wait for me for one second, we'll be right back with you. Okay, so now it's time to walk. Alright, maybe I don't have a walk, but this pan will do. It's really beautiful. Okay, we're gonna add three tablespoons of oil. And then we're gonna add the marinated chicken in here and then we're gonna cook it until well done. Okay, stir, stir, good, good, very good. Now that it's fully cooked, we're gonna take it out and just put it aside. In this very beautiful pan, the same pan, right? We're gonna add three more tablespoons of oil and one tablespoon of spicy soybean paste, three cloves of minced garlic, Half of a thumb of minced ginger. Two stalks of chopped scallions. And one teaspoon of dojiao chilies. Although the dojiao chilies amount is really not much, but they said that dojiao chilies is actually the soul of yuxiang rou si. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait until the spicy aroma all comes out. Then we're gonna put back our blanched bamboo shoots and wood ear mushrooms. Okay, thank you very much for your patience now that you're in the pot. And we're gonna stir it a little bit and then we're also gonna add back our julienne chicken. Again, thank you for your patience. Now we're gonna pour in the sauce and mix. 
Okay, that looks really nice and really delicious. Good. Let's stir a little bit more. Okay, I think this is good. And one tablespoon of chili oil. This chili oil, I made it myself. If you're interested in this recipe, you can also check right here. And lastly, we're going to add a handful of scallions, and this is done. Oh, remember to mix a bit. Okay, so our yushang rose is ready to be tried right here. It looks really gorgeous, really pretty. So let me give it a try and see how it goes this time. Whoa, it's actually really, really spicy. <laughs> Whoa, it's really spicy actually. So when I was younger, I lived in Southeast Asia. My family moved to Southeast Asia, although I'm Chinese. So the first time I tried Yushang Rou Si, I was in China, right? And then I was like, oh my God, this dish is so delicious. It's spicy, it's a little bit of sourness and also sweet. So from then on, whenever I go to a Sichuan restaurant, I always order Yushang Rou Si. So this is um, something memorable for me. And hopefully you guys can try this dish at home and also share my memory and my passion for Yushang Rou Si. Don't <laughs> Don't <laughs> 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 <laughs>